I'm in Salad and I saw Batman The Long Halloween Part 2. It is directed by Chris Palmer. And I'm a little sick, I'm a little hopped up on cough medicine, but I gotta do daily movies because daily grind. So if you wanna help with the daily grind, go to this link tree right here. Hey, that's pretty neat. So if you haven't seen this movie, I'm gonna spoil it for you. If you haven't seen this, I'm not sure why you haven't seen this movie, but I'm about to tell you all about it. So the movie starts, uh, we get to see three murders on three holidays. Valentine's Day, then we get to see St. Patrick's Day, and then we get to see April Fool's Day. And the, the progression of the time is kind of wonky since they don't tell you explicitly until the end of the holiday which holiday it is so i definitely missed out on the april fools because i thought it was the same day as the mother's day thing that happened which was scarecrow is released out of prison batman goes to try to stop him he gets sprayed with a bunch of poisonous gas that makes him hallucinate fear gas that's what i called he hallucinates about his parents being alive specifically his mom and the fact that his mom didn't go pew, 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 is very funny i'm like okay cool i like how batman has to deal with the fact that his parents are dead he's hallucinating that catwoman is actually his mom also speaking of catwoman and what happened at the beginning of this part two poison ivy is controlling his mind having him send monies to Falcone and I'm like why 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 this wasn't really explicitly made clear to me so I was kind of confused oh but I like Poison Ivy's design she's real cute especially her hair and the vines in her hair I like her power set she just like overloads the Wayne Manor which is like a bunch of ivy which is fun poison ivy get it haha -ha. So Catwoman defeats Poison Ivy. And also it's super fun, now it's Father's Day. More people are dying. Specifically, if you bring somebody a box of cannolis, or cannolo? I'm not an Italian. My very famous YouTuber friend, Tony from Hack the Movies, can back me up on this. Whether it's cannolo or cannoli for multiple cannolis. So, hey, let's, br let's bring a box of cannolo. Ooh, hello, here we go. Oh no, a dead murder death kill. And look, the guy's running away, oh no. Let's go chase him, but he escapes. Uh-oh, that's not fun. All right, what's the next holiday after that? July 4th. Now we're in July 4th, we're seeing all the booms, the fireworks, bam, boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Perfect time to hide a gunshot. Okay, cool. Fun expo dump, I guess. Uh, the expo dump being that, oh, hello, young Bruce Wayne. Looks like you met your father's friend. And he's also the guy that's being targeted by the holiday. Oh, wow, that's pretty neat. Okay, cute backstory. But when's the murder death killing happen? Okay, here it is. Look, murder death kill is happening again, again. Ah, uh, wow, it's a holiday. Wow, that's pretty rad. Also, Sophia, she's a she's a really strong butch woman. Like, she's got <laughs> her shoulders, her like quarterback shoulders. Wow, I can't believe it. It's pretty rad. And she's cute, but sh her father Falcone won't let her at the table because competition reasons yada 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 politics i ain't into politics so you know this doesn't quite make sense to me i'd just be like hello this is my daughter sophia oh no i died <laughs> oh hello sophia your new head and honestly i think sophia has the shoulders for it she's really buff I, I can't stress that enough, she's really buff. And I, I like her design, especially the massive amounts of titty. Well, oh no, looks like more expo dump. What happens, what's the holiday after July 4th? Oh, actually, that's Labor Day. But before that, there's a whole like 
chase scene underneath docks, which is fun. I'm like, wow, they're running. Go run, 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 run. Ah, don't let the guy escape, but he escapes beautifully. So it's it's amazing. Wow, I can't believe. It. Also, what is Catwoman's motivation for helping Wayne and being around constantly? Oh, it turns out, oh no, well, actually, he's my father. I just want to know who my mother is. I'm like, oh, that's actually sad. It's sad that Catwoman doesn't know her mother. I also find it hilarious that Catwoman is kind of acting like a, a mother figure in this. This is it's cute, I'd say. Very cute. And also, it's super fun. Oh no. Well, turns out, oh, it's Labor Day. Oh, murder, death, kill. Bam! In between all the murder, death, kills, I, I there's a lot of exposition. There's a lot of expo dump. Is Now we are introduced to the amazing designs of Scarecrow. The Mad Hatter. I love his design, by the way. He's like, he's like a, a leprechaun. He's a very evil, sinister leprechaun, and he's very short, which is cute. And also, Poison Ivy. They're all now here to take over the town. Wow, amazing stuff happens. Wow, they're eviling about. That's pretty rad. I like eviling about. Well, they're actually eviling about on 4th of July. They capture Batman. I'm like, how do you, how do you capture Batman? Oh, that's right. He's alone. It's pretty sad. Also, Catwoman is here to help. Thank you, Catwoman, once again for being around, helping Batman and not stay in trouble. Your, your service is very underappreciated, and I'm here to appreciate you, Catwoman. So on Labor Day, wow, there's a, there's a whole operation that Batman has to go under. He has to go hide as a guard in order to see who the holiday is but oh and look that guy he's definitely holiday oh my god ah and then he gets shot so he must not be holiday i'm like wow holiday who are you holiday you're doing some shady stuff in a graveyard good thing catwoman is here to show us the way show us that hey, actually, shady dealings is bad. Don't do shady dealings, please don't. The one villain that I'm like, wow, I can't believe it, I actually see a really cool villain story, is hey, Harvey turns into Two-Face, his face gets acided while he's at court, which is like, wow, that was attempted murder. That is not good. I, I don't particularly enjoy the attempted murder eatiness of everything, but, he starts having like these hallucinations of another guy just be like, murder, death, kill, Urr. But now, Harvey Dent is Two-Face, and I'm like, ah, I like that, I like the origin of him. It makes sense, I'm glad that I got to see Harvey Dent as a human, as a good guy. Now he's a bad guy, and now he's gonna start blowing things up, along with a bunch of other people. And now it's... Batman's turn to stop him. Ah, Kachow, bam, bam, ah, look at that, bam, ah, all the kickiness, all the punchiness. <laughs> Batman does that all around. It's quite fun. Saying, wow, Holiday, where is he? I don't know. He, he seems to be, I guess, content on killing everyone that he's killed. But he's kind of like a hitman, so we gotta find out. Who's hitting the men? Oh, it's the, the guy. Oh, wow, guy. Hello, guy. It looks like you're going to jail, guy. Bye-bye, guy. And I say guy, because it's like, oh, okay. And and the, also, Halloween, guess what happens? Oh, have a bunch of chocolates for all the kids, all the youngins. Just like last year. Hey, that's pretty cool. Just like last year, Alfred has a bunch of amazing chocolates. The, the king size bars, by the way. All the kids should head up, hit up Wayne Manor. I don't know why they don't, but this one kid, is, he's looking like Batman. Oh, if he only knew the irony. Wow, I can't believe it. It's pretty red. And gives him a bunch of chocolates. And I'm like, wow. That's a smart kid. I don't know if they ever got any more trick-or-treaters. I know it's the, it's the fence. It has to be the fence. The massive gate. That has to be what's keeping... The common folk out versus 
the ultra Chad kid who's dressed like Batman getting those king size candy bars. What what a ultra awesome guy. What a cool dude. And that's how the movie ends. I like Harvey's transformation from being a person to Two Face. I'm like, wow, that's fun. I like all the build up. The build up's pretty radical. I'm gonna talk about the art. I, I noticed that the opening credits is using the art style from the graphic novel, and so that people were mad that all oh, this doesn't adapt the graphic novel style. Ugh! But as a professional artist, let me tell you why this is good. Because the art style is very solid. It's very easy and recognizable. Plus, easy to replicate. Good for animation. Have you tried animating before? I bet you haven't. It is hard to keep things consistent as an animator. That's why you gotta have models. And the fact that these are strong models, that's beautiful. Solid lines. I definitely noticed there's like one frame where you see the mouth is moving because the way that this is animated it's, it's like an anime because it's like still bodies but the mouths are moving and one of the shots is like the mouth is moving but like the line wasn't like filled in all the way so there's like a, a line and then oh a, a line on the edge basically it didn't look solid but I was like oh, I love that it was hilarious I wonder how much time they had to animate this. Speaking of which, you also gotta consider the factor of time. How much time were these animators given to animate this? Well, they have to have some sort of solid style and all the dialogue scenes, oh no, they're not fully animated. Oh no, the worst thing ever. Guess where all the animation budget went towards the fight scenes as should be because fight scenes are actually really cool. But yeah, I say it's animated like an anime for the dialogue scenes because it's pretty static, except for their mouths. But whenever they turn, it's like a few frames of action and then static again. And this happens more than like an anime because an anime can just be like 30 seconds of just showing the, the vastness. And I'm thinking of Ava. Specifically, there's like a train scene where it's just vast just looking at the scenery, and it's like 30 seconds of that. Just 30 seconds. It's not as egregious as Ava. If you're complaining about, oh, it's not animated well, it is. It actually is. It's solid lines. The faces are distinct, especially uh, Captain Gordon. He's not commissioner right now, but Captain Gordon is very distinct. His mustache is very distinct. From Harvey Dent, I could also tell who Harvey Dent was. I could tell who Catwoman is. I could tell who Batman is. All of the character designs, the people I should really care about, are distinct. Their character designs are distinct, and therefore I can remember them better. Because somebody with autism, I kind of have a face blindness. For like the, if I watch the film for the first time, there's a chance I'm not gonna remember. Oh, that face is actually that face unless I watch it multiple times. If you have autism, leave a comment in the below if you also experience the face blindness, which I do, but luckily I didn't experience any face blindness, which is cute. I knew exactly who Commissioner Gordon's family was. I knew Harvey Dent's family is. Also, speaking of Harvey Dent, guess who's the um, murderer who's holiday? His wife. That's funny and ironic. It explains why his wife's like, Oh no, we have a She's like that the entire time. Also, I should talk about the colors. The colors are very intentional. I'm thinking of a specific scene where it's just choosing like three colors, a split complementary, if you will. I'm thinking specifically, you kind of got some blue in the background. And the colored lights are either, oh, it's uh, orange and red, or it's yellow and orange. Both of these color combinations are split complementary. Added blue to them. I'm like, wow, that's pretty awesome. Plus, it really helps that the K 
character designs are or is black or gray or some white except for Harvey Dent which is also blue he's wearing blue and Commissioner Gordon he's wearing an orange wow it's like the color palette what fits it's like they put some thought into the colors that they use this isn't like a piece of trash this is a beautiful animated piece of work it's beautifully animated especially the fight scenes and I just love seeing how animators use their budget. I like seeing what the animators used, like which scenes they really wanted to focus on by how much time they gave it. And because I don't understand why people hate this movie so much. Oh, it's not the, it's not the original comic style. Have you tried animating that? As you, viewer, who isn't a professional artist, have you tried animating that? If you have, tell me all about it. Tell me how difficult or hard it was to animate. But if you're not, if you're not a professional animator, you don't have any right to talk about animation like it's bad. You don't know the, the work that it takes to animate. I've animated some. The animations that I've done are not Batman quality. Animation is difficult. Especially if you're under tight budget or tight time restraint. I still don't really know the time restraint they were on, but this is beautiful. I gotta praise the animators on this. I'm with you animators, I, I'm on your side. And because the animation is beautiful, but there's a lot of scenes where I'm like, oh, okay, cool, backstory. Oh, hello! De Murder, Death, Kill. Okay, more backstory. I gotta give this movie a solid 7 out of 10. If you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. The ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert film watcher. So, if I haven't reviewed it on the channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. So, request a movie for me to review in the comments below. Or you can fast track that request at patreon.com slash ASC Presents, for $20 a month, you get one movie review per one month. Or $3 a month for some daily vlogs. Hi, that's pretty neat. All at patreon.com slash ASC Presents. And if you want to help support the daily grind and also to see NSFW content, go to my link tree. It really helps with all the daily grindiness. Keep on grinding daily. So go here, and until next time I'm in Salad Saw, I'll see you later, my salad croutons and bacon bits.